Hello, tarnished. I see you are... battle-worn. Tolrent has carried and protected you well. Have you need of me? I understand. You have need for your runes to strengthen you for your trials ahead. What is wrong? I misunderstand. Tarnished, I fear though I act as maiden to you, there is little guidance I can offer you. Though you are blessed by the Earth Tree's grace and guidance, that seems to be what little aid you've been afforded by it. I can offer you few comforts in the lands between. The shattering took all from most and placed many more in eternal torments. The accord I have with you is one stray hope to ease my own failings. What is it that you seek? You ask for companionship, for comfort. Tarnished, I am not akin to fear, nor shall I accompany you on your deathbed as she would. That is a purpose in this realm that I will not serve. No, dear traveler of the fog, I do not take offense at this. Though you may harden your heart to the trials of death and decay, seeking light. Indeed, as the earth tree guides you so, it is a curse of your being. It is a curse of all of us. All shall we bear nary how deeply we bury it. What little comfort I can give, I shall afford you. Come now to me, tarnished. Let my hand rest upon you, but for a few brief moments. Let you remove your helm and feel safe in this place of momentary peace and respite. Ah. My apologies. Forgive me. It is strange to see your eyes so closely tarnished. Think little of it. Please. Lay down your head. Though my hands are yet marred by memories of pain long gone, I hope they do offer you some bit of comfort. I will confess to you, dear Tarnished, though I expect our accord to be short. I have so far come to value our time together, what little of it we have left. You and yours are stranger to the lands between. Your thoughts, ambitions, and principles, all strange. The blessing of the Erdry that graces you, 
I pray it stays with you till the end of your quest. Though I shall follow you, as I am not, unfortunately, strong enough on my own. I do wish to lend you whatever strength I might have. This realm tarnished, this land between lands, once was bathed in light. In my memories, I see it that way still. It was beautiful. And still, as I wander with you, tarnished, I can see it. In flashes, brief moments, a flicker of light. But time has grown long. She has sunk her roots into this world and weathered it. Like so many waves upon a rock, hour after hour, day after day year after troubled year, until eons have passed, and there is nothing left but decay. Lives have hung in permanence, in suffering. We walk and talk and breathe, yet we are dead. Can something that never grows, never changes, truly be called alive? We live in suffering, in permanence, deserving or not. We are punished for our follies and sins. We are punished for our craving for power. And we still pursue it. Is not every single one of us responsible for the corruption of our land? Is not every single one of us responsible for our eternity and torment? Should we not all suffer for it as we do? I think there are many who would disagree with me, but I do not think I speak wrongly in wishing for an end to it all, to the violence, the death, the undying. Moments like these, moments with my hands in your hair, your head on my lap, are precious. The quiet, the wind, the light of the sun and the earth tree. It is strange to feel the skin of another. It 
brings back memories of things long ago since past, different times. It comforts me, just as I comfort you. I pray you do not think of me as unkind, though I have tested you. Though I know that it is likely you shall fail, as many have done before you. Your agreement to our accord affords me hope that I have not a right to. Though you struggle through death after death, you continue. You have not yet lost the grace given to you. You have not yet lost its guidance and its light. You have not faltered or stumbled in your pursuit of your quest. And yet, the horrors of this world seek to wear down all who reside here. To burden souls and corrupt ambitions to feed the rot that festers. The world cares not for the hopes of the small and the weak. And it comes for the strong just as well. It moves in its own way, with time at its beck and call, regardless. Even the great will cannot impose itself in totality upon it. And after all of us are long gone, if indeed we might be afforded the peace of death, it will continue. There is no end to it, but it gives end to all things in time whether or not we fight it. In this moment, tarnished, in this moment, I hope you take peace. I hope that you may carry this memory with you and that it affords you solace and light in times of darkness and despair. I would warn you, hope is one of the things that leads us to our darkest hours. Hope gives us a light, but it is also a lie, tarnished. Hope is not your friend.
It is a tricky emotion that we must contend with, for we are to seek our desires. In this moment, rest and remember. And may there be many more like it, once your journey is ended and your questing complete. May our land once again be bathed in peaceful, everlasting light. though a dream it may be. I hope that one day you shall find peace. Hi everyone, Gigi here. It's good to see you today. Also, if you found the secret that I've hidden in this video, say it in the comments. <laughs> As always, I want to give a big shout out to my Patreon supporters. There is a shocking amount more of you than last time, so thank you very much. On the screen you'll see Biohazard VA, Eve of Spades, Jack C, Jacob M, Luis L, Ryan W, Andrew P, Ben V, Frosty, Gruff, Jacob C, James L, Joshua S, Lee, Nick, P D B, Slimecore, Soft Nugget, and Timothy L. Thank you so much. We're nearing on 20,000 subscribers, and I have a special chat in my Discord channel, or I guess special chat in my Discord server, for suggestions on what I should read or say for the subscriber special. So if you want to slip in a couple of cute little suggestions, head on over there. Link is in the description. Other than that, I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.